And when you come into a house, salute it. You enter into a house. When you come into a house. Okay, I'm going to use this whatsoever from Luke in the same place it was earlier because I don't think it fits to say whatsoever city and then later on whatsoever house. Actually, that might work. When you come into a house. Okay, so I'd have to choose between when you come into a house versus and whatsoever house you come into. I already used whatsoever. Maybe I should just use it once and then switch to when. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Luke later goes on to say, and whosoever will not receive you. That would draw the meaning away from what he's saying into just the style of how he's saying it. Whatsoever city or town, whatsoever house, whosoever doesn't accept you. Although that sounds kind of similar to other passages I've read in scripture. Whatsoever city or town you enter. Whatsoever house you enter. Whosoever. I don't know. There abide. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. Okay. I get it. Okay, this is one long explanation that's pieced out. A piece is given to Matthew and a piece is given to Luke, but I think it all fits together. Whatsoever town you go into, find out who's worthy, and then that's the house you're going to go into. But it doesn't matter who it is as long as they're worthy. So then again, it could be still whatsoever house you go into, there abide. And before I say, and then depart, I have to put everything from Matthew. There abide till you go there. And when you come into a house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. If it not be worthy, let your peace return to you. Then back to Luke. And then depart. Yeah, that's how it has to be. If they invite you, go to their house. Then if it's worthy, let your peace rest on it. If not, let your peace return to you and leave. Yeah, that's how it has to be. So I am going to put, again, whatsoever from Luke. When you come into house. So I'm not using this and from Matthew yet. It is and from Luke. So Mark, uh, this, I don't know, you enter into a house. Whatsoever house you enter. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna find a way to make Mark fit. Enter into their abide. Mark says, you enter into a house, their abide. So I'll just leave a house. And when you come into a house, I think I have to save their abide from Matthew for later. Till you go there. I think that might mean till you go from there, till you depart. Yeah. Inquire who is worthy and all the rest when is save. 
Inquire who is worthy. And that's the person whose house you're going to go into. And whatsoever house you enter into, there abide. Yeah, that has to come next. Pretty much it infers, inquire who's worthy, and that's the person who you're going to go to their house. And then from Matthew, if the house be worthy, that's when you decide if you're going to stay. Well, no, thereby till you depart, then depart. In Matthew, he is saying, inquire who's worthy, there abide, then when you come into a house, salute it. And then even if the house is not worthy, let your peace return to you. It doesn't say after that, then leave. It says leave when they won't hear you, when they won't hear your words. So I'm not going to have it say depart if the house is not worthy. Yeah, I'm not going to have it say that. Here's the problem. Luke has you entering into a house then saying, there abide, and then after you've abided there, depart. But in Matthew, it says, inquire who's worthy, there abide, till you go. Then it has, when you come into a house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to move Matthew 10, 12 into Matthew 10, 11. Inquire who in it is worthy, and when you come into a house, salute it, and there abide till you go there, or till you depart. That's what I have to do, because that's how it would fit with Luke. Whatsoever house you enter into, there abide, and then depart, yeah. Whatsoever house you enter into, there abide and then depart. When you come into a house, salute it and there abide till you go from there. Yeah. So I'm going to have to have 11 combined with this verse. When you come into a house, salute it. Okay, well in that case, I'm going to get rid of whatsoever and I'll combine that with Matthew and Mark. So that'll be gray now. This can now be when from Matthew. When you come into a house, except Mark and Luke both have enter instead of come into. So enter into is what I'll put. And when you enter Matthew into a house, Mark into a Luke enter into, so not a. Into is all three. A is Matthew and Mark. And then house all three. And when you enter into a house, Luke says, thereby then depart. Mark says, thereby till you depart from that place. Matthew says, salute it. And then I know I'm going to go back to, and thereby till you go from there. So I'll put salute it first from Matthew. Salute it. 
salute it and there abide from Matthew. There abide from Mark. There abide and then depart. So I can use and first. I'll use the and from Luke. Till you depart from there. Till you depart from that place. Since I have abide till you depart, I think I want to put the and before. From Luke, I have the option because it says there abide and then depart. So I'm going to use the and from there to go before because otherwise I would just be ignoring it. So I'll at least say there's an and here. I think that's a good idea. I'll use that and from Luke. Salute it and there abide. Matthew and Luke and now there abide is all three. Luke continues, and then depart. I already used that and, so it's just then depart. Till you depart from that place. Matthew, till you go there. But I really think that means go from there. Till you is Matthew Mark. And depart is... I think a better word than just go. It's more exact. It's more precise. Depart from that place. Or just ends in depart in Luke. Matthew has go there. So I can say depart from there or depart from that place. Mark was the one who said, in what place soever you enter. Place instead of saying city or town. And I didn't use that, so it would fit if I used it here. It wouldn't be an annoying repeat. But if I say there, that would just allude to what was mentioned earlier. The house, or the city or town till you depart from there, till you depart from that place. Well, I know I'm gonna say depart, okay? So I'm just gonna go Mark and Luke, depart. I know I'm gonna say from, now, the question. And there abide till you depart from, oh, you know what, I can't put there, because it says, and there abide till you depart from. If I say there again, it'll be annoying. And besides, there means the house, the first time it was mentioned. Till you depart from the city. That's what Jesus is intending. whatsoever city or town you enter into. That's what the second there would be referring to. So I'll use a different set of words just to separate it from what was mentioned before. You're not abiding at the house until you leave from the house. You could be like, oh, I showed up. Now Jesus gave me permission to leave. Because <laughs> you can't just say there abide until you depart from it. Stand here until you're not standing here anymore. No. There abide in the house till you depart from the city. So I will say that place from Mark. That place.